Unless you're in one of the big mega churches who write, produce, and sing their own songs on Sunday, playing in church for most people is like playing for a cover band whose repertoire can span from the 60s to today's top 40. Sonic versatility is the name of the game, so can this Yamaha Restart standard fit the bill for all your church music needs? Let's find out in this episode of Can It PNW. If you're looking for a breakdown of this guitar and a technical specs run through, I recommend watching Philip McKnight's review. Here, I'm curious as to the guitar's applicability in a Sunday service context. How does it handle clean to moderate levels of gain? How is it ergonomically suited to play in a church worship environment? And finally, are there any issues with its aesthetics? Let's get the easiest question out of the way. Aesthetics. This Yamaha Restar Standard Designation RSS-02T is equipped with P90 pickups and does not have a tram system. Instead, it is a trapeze-style bridge reminiscent of the 40s to 50s. With the racer motorcycle colors, the guitar oozes a vintage vibe that is pleasing to look at and it won't bring in any comments from concerned churchgoers. It's a thing in some churches. Ever had someone comment your guitar is too flashy? Drop your story in the comments. Ergonomics. Here, we're not talking about effortless shredding, although that may be a thing in your church, but about weight and balance. Playing in church may be the only live situation where three or four songs can last 30 minutes or more. If you're in a church that allows you to sit while playing, that's great, but for the rest of us who stand all the way through, the struggle is real. I once played a two-hour prayer and praise session with a Les Paul and I vowed never to do that again. This Yamaha Resta isn't feather light. At 3.55 kilos, this is slightly heavier than the average Stratocaster, but definitely lighter than a Les Paul. When I played it at a regular service, I found myself needing to put it down when I'm not playing especially doing corporate prayer which can be long. What helped was that there was no neck dive. The balance is exceptional. For a chambered body, you expect there to be some tilt, but there isn't. Which leads us to the tone. Props to Yamaha for keeping the weight down while making this a highly resonant guitar. Even unplugged, the guitar sings and rings true, which is a bonus when you need to entertain toddlers. Due to the dual P90 pickup configuration, you get the thickness of a humbucker and the clarity of a single coil. The cleans are deep with a focused mid-range. However, that can get nasty and nasal if you put too much gain on it, so don't expect this guitar to sound good with three stacked overdrives. That being said, I can cover a spectrum of classic hill song to modern pedal-to-the-metal panic shakers, albeit on lower gain. <laughs> It's time for my hot take on this guitar. I'm going to show you two tones that I think many people misunderstand about the Rest Star. The first is the out of phase in positions two and four, which in Stratocaster lingo is the quack tone. Fun fact, Stratocaster positions two and four are not technically out of phase. They're wired and parallel, which results in that characteristic sound, but they're properly in phase. This Rest Star circuit is going for true out of phase by activating both pickups, but slightly delaying the output of one of them so there's some phase cancellation. The resulting sound?
decent crack tone that more than suffices to replace the Stratocaster. The second sound that people seem to dislike but I like very much is the focus switch activated. For simplicity, I think of this switch as a darker switch. The pickup output increases and there's a dump of high-end frequencies. In some demos, people will have a Fender reverb or a Twin which is an already warm and bass-heavy sound. Pulling the focus switch up makes the guitar darker, so naturally, the tone becomes muddy. But in a typical worship tone, where we want the guitars bright with lots of sparkle, stacking overdrives and pulling up that focus switch gets you this sound. As a reviewer puts it, it's a Carlos Santana switch when used with a brighter amp and stacked overdrives. You get a thick and creamy lead tone without having to change the settings on your amp. So with one guitar, you get the brightness of single coils, the thickness of humbuckers, a resonant body that helps chords and lead lines sing, and the versatility to go from clean to heavy gain with the help of a focus switch, all in one affordable package. Can the Yamaha Restar PNW? I say yes. How about you? Will you consider playing a Yamaha Restar at the Sunday service? Let me know in the comments. If you got value out of this video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. And for those who like the tones I was getting, I was using a combination of presets from my Pot Go Worship Essentials pack that you can check out on my Buy Me A Coffee page. While you're there, please feel free to support the channel directly by checking out my gifts section. I truly appreciate each and every one of you who helped build this channel to the next level. Previous Kenneth PNW episodes can be found on the playlist that I'll link at the back of this video, so do check out some quirky guitars that aren't typically found at the Sunday service. I'll see you there.